ligaments are again classified into two types. One are constrainers. Constrainers are something which prevents the abnormal mobility, and the other the other things are stabilizers, which actually creates a joint. So there are two examples which I can show you in the manicures. So this is a shoulder joint bone model. So here you can appreciate there is a a small band like structure. So this is called as glenoid labra. So this uh, this will articulates with this bone. As this bone, God has given a very small articular uh, surface. So again, God has given a, another additional support uh, so that our shoulder mobility mobilization can be happen at 360 degree. So this is called as glenoid labra. This is a one kind of ligament. The other kind of ligaments are constrainers. So this is a knee joint model where you can see these are the PCL posterior push shaped ligament and, 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 and inside there is an anterior push shaped ligament. This is a medium CL and this is an LCL. These are varieties of uh, what is that ligaments which passes from one joint to another. Here you can see this is coming from top. So it is traveling all the way from the femur and it's attaching to the tibia, which, which causes the flexion extension. You can see this mobility. For this mobility, you need this kind of ligament. So this acts as a mechanical motor. So here, the total muscle will come and form as a ligament. So other one is constraint, which will protect. See, this movement is not possible. And this movement is also not possible. If this is broken, this movement will come. So this is called a joint opening. So, which this kind of abnormal movements will be protected with such kind of ligament. These are called as constrainers. These are called as joint mobilizers. So, totally there are two kinds of ligaments in the whole body. First thing is the primary cause of the ligament tear is only because of uh, high energy traumas, just like you neurotraffic know, traffic injuries that are regularly seen in the regular people. And some are second, secondary is the, or the primary one is the sports people. Why? Because the sports people regularly go for uh, different kinds of stretches and all ligamental stretches will be there. And ligamental constraint uh, games are, will be there just like a basketball or a football, where the footballer will give a full throw, throw, where it can cause a ACL or a PCL injuries. So normally this kind of injuries are seen in a sports person. Even the common people are also now facing the uh, same problem. But initially it was diagnosed or it was seen in a sports people. So this is called a sports injury. That, that, that doesn't mean that only the sports person will have this problem. Even the common people also nowadays because of this advent of MRIs, uh, ultrasounds or x-rays. So we are coming to know there is a lot of chance and a lot of uh, research because of research we come to know that regular day-to-day -day people are also having the same problem. Exclusively, this kind of ligamental injuries are seen in youngsters and even the people like people working in gymnastics or people who work in circus crew, these people we can see this kind of ligamental injury. Coming to the ligamental injuries, they are graded or classified into four grades, grade one, grade two, grade three and grade four. Coming up to grade one to grade three, end of grade three, the pain value will be there depending upon the grade and the severity and grade 4 the pain won't be there but the swelling will be there so if you think this is a ligament this ligament on, on inside the ligament this is called as ACL so this ACL ligament if it is got torn the total joint will be swollen this is called as hemarthrosis the condition the blood will be pulled up so by this we can die, we can come to a conclusion why because this is an affected knee you will have one more knee which is a normal knee Normally, ligamental injuries will be unilateral. So, uh, this will have total swelling. So, the total joint will be swollen up and uh, flooded with blood. So, other, the other knee joint will be normal. So, by this difference, you can say that there is a ligamental injury. And in ligamental injury, the patient can walk. Whereas, in a bony injury, patient cannot walk. That again depends upon the type of ligamental injuries. But my majority of like this kind of MCL or inside ACL or uh, this kind of meniscus or any kind of LCL ligaments, the patient can walk. But this again is a very big ligament. So the patient cannot walk. So 90% of ligamental injuries, patient can walk and swelling will be there. 
and whereas the bone injuries the patient cannot know and the swelling will be there or not depending upon the type of bones first treatment will be like let's say kind of a first aid uh, whenever you as we discussed that the blood will be pulled up and it will be warm the local warmth will be there the local rise of temperature and tenderness will be there so to re- if you reduce the temperature with some kind of coolants which are available with us example the ice in our home so you can directly use the ice and you can apply it on the wherever the joints or the ligaments where you find that there is an injury definitely you will reduce the damage of the ligament followed by you can reduce the pain why because the pull this cooling action will act as a anesthetic and even uh, it create uh, reduces the blood flow also if you have any blood uh, blood vessel injuries also inside or associated with ligament injuries that's a first aid treatment then followed by you should go and consult a doctor where the doctor will diagnose the issue like uh, the injuries previously they are, they used to diagnosis with uh, ultrasound and x rays now also x rays and ultrasound are gold 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 standard treatment still very good uh, mechanism like very good tool has come to the sports injury that is called mri with an mri definitely you will come to you can localize the exact ligament and the grade of the ligamental injury then accordingly you can go on to get it repaired with a doctor whoever does the ligamental repair at that again depends on the grades first grade second grade third grade fourth grade in the fourth grade some ligaments will even in the in the case of fourth grade also ligaments will heal by proper immobilization so again that depends upon the grade depend upon the uh, type of ligament recovery rate or the healing rate will change from 2 2 weeks to 8 or 16 weeks mm-hmm.